everybody, welcome to Central News Center. I am Jonah Hale, and this is my best friend, Alex Haugen. We're not best friends, though. What? Uh, we're not best friends. Just wanna say, we would be if you answered my Snapchat. But, I mean, when you Snapchat me 24-7, it's kinda, kinda scary. Yeah, I don't, I don't need this right now. Uh -huh. Anyway, so, Central News Center. We are the anchor men. And first up, we have Aubrey Lohman, codename Aubrey Snowman, <laughs> doing the weather. So Aubrey, how's the weather out there? It's pretty cold. There's some snow over there, and there, and over there, and a little bit of ice over there. This is Megan. She's telling me about how her run is going. It's perfect weather outside. <laughs> Up next with entertainment reviews with Jaden, Caleb, and Faith. I have faith that this will be pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. What? Hello, this is Jaden. I'm here for the Central News video game review. Today we are doing Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is a run and gun fast paced shooter involved with courses on the battlefield that involve parkour to get through. Titanfall 2 keeps its players coming back day after day for the multiplayer that has re Ratchet enough production, customization, action, and content that rectifies some balance issues from the first game. Titanfall 2 is still the very fast paced action Titanfall is known for. With the movement that feels great even when you're running, jumping, and long running, or when you're fighting a new Titan. A Titan is a mech the player receives after an amount of points earned or over time during a match. Hello, my name is Jaden for Central News Video Game Review for Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 is known for its creative wide variety of engagements and gameplay that can happen by sea, land, and air, encountered by short, medium, and long-range engagements. Battlefield 1 is also known for its battles that happen at any time during the match, with the smallest skirmish bringing everyone on each team to come and join the fight. Hey everyone, so my name is Faith Ritchie, and I'm going to be talking to you about a movie and a TV show. And the movie I'll be talking about is Arrival, which stars Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner. So Arrival is a science fiction film starring Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner. And it's about a language expert named Louise Banks, who's recruited by the army after aliens arrive on Earth. And they ask her to translate the aliens' language. And their overall goal is to figure out why they have come to Earth. So this movie I really, really enjoyed. I think it's like one of my favorite movies. Um, it's so in-depth and it takes its time. If you don't like a slow movie, then you probably won't like this and you'll probably get bored with it. It takes its time to tell the story and I think that's one of the best parts about this movie because it doesn't, like, nothing feels rushed or anything. It just plays out and when you get to the final result, it's amazing. So if you like science fiction thinking movies, I think you'll really like this movie. The next show I'm going to be talking about is Adam Ruins Everything, and it airs on True TV Tuesdays at 9, and this show is a combination of comedy and educational television, and it really works well. I think you might recognize the main character, Adam, from College Humor. He was originally on that for a while, and then because of his little short Adam Ruins Everything on there, he got his own show. The show is really good. Um, for the show, Adam, the main character, goes throughout his day-to-day -day life ruining common misconceptions about things in our day-to-day -day life. The show does a fantastic job of supporting their claims and they always have the credits and you can go to their website to look and make sure everything. And you know what? They welcome skeptics, so if you ever feel like you don't believe anything on the show, it's perfectly fine and they actually encourage it. So it's not like they're rubbing it in your face, but so much as welcoming new ideas. Uh, I would recommend this to anyone who enjoys learning or comedy or just like short, fun bits of knowledge. Next up, we have a man who goes by the name Zach, who will be reporting about transportation. Zach Attack, what do you got for us, man? Why do you think the buses have been late in the morning? I would say that in the morning the buses are late because it is icy and it's dark out. So like, especially in the more urban areas, it's a lot icier than say on like Columbia or Washington or Gateway or Des Moines or anything like that. 
Why are you? Why do you think the buses have been late in the afternoon sometimes? In the afternoon, I would definitely say it's more traffic caused than anything. It's still a little icy in the afternoon, but it's not as dark, so you can see where it's icy, and you can obviously it's just easier to see. But then you have to deal with more cars in the afternoon, picking their kids up from school, going to work, and all that stuff. So. Thank you for your feedback. You're welcome. School. I drive my own vehicle. Where do you live exactly? I live on the south end of town by Choice Fitness. Is the weather as bad as it is in town, really? Close to central? Uh, it's not real close to central, but it's not bad. How are the road conditions? Uh, actually, this morning they weren't too bad at all. Would you say the road conditions might cause the buses to be late? May cause what? The buses to be late in the mornings or after school? Oh yeah, most definitely. Thank you for your feedback. You're welcome. Up next, we got politics with Sapu, aka Shampoo. Oh! What you got, man? <laughs> I think it went well. I think, uh, you know, the, we could say we have had improvements or we have not had improvements um, with, uh, with Donald Trump as, as the new president. But hey, I think he'll do a uh, all right job. He'll try his very hardest, I believe. Um, I think Hillary Clinton would have been all right candidate as well. I mean, I never really liked either of them in the first place, but I th you know what? We're America, and we're, we're amazing. It was a thing that happened. I mean, I'm personally, I'm not too happy about the outcome of it, but I mean, we have to deal with it since now he's our president, so it is what it is at this point. Just kind of live with it. Why I voted for Donald Trump is because I don't want to vote for a criminal. I thought Trump was, a, was the right choice to get our um, America back on track, make America great again. Next up, we have the mighty trio. Bryn, Reggie Ball, Hannah Freeze, and Destiny Miller reporting to us about the sports. Oh, guys, uh, what's going on down there? And the base keeps running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running. I'm here with senior captain Brady Terrell for the Grand Fork Central Wrestling Team. Brady, you recently got your 100th win. Can you tell us what that felt like? Um. Yeah, it feels uh, it feels great. I've I've uh, I've beat a lot of people over my entire career, um, and so it takes a lot of uh, hard work. And to be at that point, uh, it means a lot. And what are some highlights the wrestling team has had so far this season? Oh uh, well, our uh, our team took recently just took second at uh, the uh, Valley City uh, Christmas tournament, um, just behind Mandan. Um, they have a great uh, group of wrestlers, and then hopefully um, uh, we can uh, we win a couple more duels, and we would like to make the state duel tournament. What are the overall like vibes, and how is like the energy at practice this year? Uh, the, uh, it's getting a lot better. Um, we got a, again, it's the same thing as last year. We got a young, a lot of younger guys uh, coming in, and. Uh, they're just kind of we're they're kind of learning the motions, and then we're kind of getting back into it, and uh, it's been great. Uh, we've we kind of have a a starting varsity lineup, and then we have kind of a JV lineup. Um, they're going to Crookston today to get some more kind of varsity type experience, um, and so yeah, hopefully that'll uh, strengthen our program for uh, the future. Thank you. And running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running. I'm here with the Grand Fork Central Hockey Cheerleaders, and I was just here to ask them a few questions. How do you guys think the season's going so far? It's been pretty good. We're undefeated. We had a number game last week, about 1-7-1, one, one, so pretty good. Have you guys been getting any good support from the student section, and what would you like to see your other students and peers do? Well, our student section is usually good for varsity, but the only one that we actually got like a lot of fans for is the Red River game, so we would appreciate if more like students came out and supported the other games too, because you know we're gonna win. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started.
Central Hockey! Let's play Central Hockey! Let's do it. My name's Parker. I'm a left wing. I'm number 11. Do you have a personal goal for the season? A uh, personal goal would be to uh, try to contribute to the team. And your team goal? To uh, uh, win state. Today I'm here with Caleb Johnson, goalie number one. <laughs> what do you have a personal goal for the season? To win the state championship for the seniors this year. Do you have a team goal at all? Uh, just focus for every game and play really hard. Where's he going? Hi, I'm Amber Anderson. I'm a senior and I play basketball. Uh, this season we have won two games and lost two games. Goals for this season are we'd like to make it to state, we would like to keep everyone healthy, and we would like to play as a team. So please come support our games because your support means a lot. Thank you. We, 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 no matter what, got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the field, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. team and uh, just like lead the EDC and rebounds. Do you think your team as a whole has any goals? Yeah, we want to reach the EDC tournament this year. We haven't made it in a long time and just win one. Yeah, you know what we is. Sometimes you gotta stay in, in. Welcome to my house. Baby, take control now. We can't even slow down. We don't have to go a while. Welcome to my house, play that music too loud Show me what you do now, we don't have to go a while uh, Welcome to my house hey, Welcome to my house Next up we have career readiness with Madison Oh, Take it away school I guess it took like about an hour it wasn't that hard so I was like I didn't know my social security number so I just had to ask my parents it was not that bad and then I got into UND after I forgot to send them my transcript so I got a little thing in the mail it said like we can't make a decision on you since you don't we don't have your transcript so I sent that in and I got in like a two days after that. Students give me this, it's the transcript request form, and it's got their name, date of birth, the year they graduated, and where they want the form to be sent to. Or they can fax the information to me or email me the information. Um, but once I get that, then I go back and I send the transcripts to where they want them to be sent. Um, I can send them electronically to um, different places, like uh, the state of North Dakota has an electronic transcript system that we use, and I can turn around and 
sent electronic transcripts going back all the way to 2004. And then we also use the SEN EDU system. Um, and then we keep transcripts on file going all the way back to 1973. Right, thank you. I applied to UND this summer and the process was pretty easy. It was self-explanatory. My parents helped me a little and they got back to me pretty quick. I found out the first day of school this year and I'm really excited. I'll be living in the dorms with my, my good friend here. I also applied to UND and I did it on college application day so I did it right at Central. Very easy process, it was a good time, got accepted, and we're ready to be some fighting hawks. Let's go I think that speech class prepares you for college. I think communications is something that people use their entire life. So whether it be college or the workforce or the military, we need to learn to communicate with each other, especially in an age of technology. There's a lot of interpersonal communications and not just speaking in front of a group, but learning how to be a good listener and how to um, interact with others, shake hands, do the things you'll need to do in adult life, and it'll carry you all the way through, but especially help in college because it'll teach you um, time management and then communications. Okay, thank you. After high school, I plan on going to the North and get my associate's degree. Okay, well, um, what I can tell you about is in my position, um, what we do is we help prepare students um, for the future as far as what careers do they think they'd be best suited for or what careers um, are they interested in and they're not going to know this unless maybe they do a job shadow which that means they can for a couple of hours leave the school campus and you know, and then they can go to a place of business and they can go ahead and listen and learn and possibly do hands-on activities and that makes a determination whether they think this is a good fit for them. If it's not, then they can come back and they can see if there's another career field that um, would interest them as well. We want them to try and find out what their career interests are before they leave school. So that way when they go into post-secondary, they have an idea what they would like to major in. So with that, we also do career forms, which we go as a group, and we invite all three schools um, in our district. And there again, is really fun because we go as a big group and we get a lot of presenters. Um, for example, some of our big hitters are like the mental health career form. And um, then we do breakout sessions. So they get to ask questions and it's more one-on-one. -on -one. And just to give you an example, I had a student that was really interested in doing tattooing, but due to the um, HIPAA laws, he was not able to do it because of his age. And so I told him, I said, there's a sign company that probably would be of interest for you. And uh, I sent him over there and they hit it off. They saw his talents and uh, showed him what they did. And now that is what he's doing. Um, he's went to Northland. Um, for I believe um, precision instrumentation and so I'm not sure what he's doing to this day this was about three years ago but um, I can rest assured I mean it's following along with what he wanted to do because he likes graphic arts and he wanted to do something in that nature so who knows but it gets you thinking and it gets you thinking outside the box next up we have surprise interviews with me and Alex Hey guys, I'm Jonah Hale. And I'm Alex Howie. And we're gonna do surprise interviews, and it's gonna be totally. Right. It's gonna be totally awesome. So here we go. We're gonna ask people random questions, and it's gonna be so dope. Let's do this thing. Hey. Uh, surprise interview. What is the official language of the Bahamas? Spanish. <laughs> it's actually English. You're wrong. <laughs> Better luck next time, buddy. Jonah. Hey, Alex, can you tell me what uh, what causes a black hole? Um. Oh, Wes. A black hole is caused when many people 
of different races or countries. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about a black hole. I'm talking about a, star, a space black hole. Oh, isn't that like a bunch of gases? Mustard gas mixed together? Okay. Should we ask you more like, hard questions? Hi, Chesty! Oh. Good day yesterday! What's your favorite food, Mr. Steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes. How do you like the steak? Oh. Medium well. What? What? <laughs> I need to know, guys, what is your favorite color? Blue. Blue? What's your Gray. Gray. That's what's up. Up next, we have Audrey with the weather. Again. <laughs> oh, God. I like that. The average high for the month of December is 20 degrees, and the average low is 4 degrees. On Christmas Eve, there will be snow showers with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 12. On Christmas, there will be snow showers with a high of 22 and a low of 17. On Monday, there will be snow and wind with a high of 13 degrees and a low of negative 3. On Tuesday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 8 and a low of 5. On Wednesday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 14. On Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 16 and a low of 5. On Friday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 8 degrees and a low of 2. Next up, we have the man from Grand Forks, North Dakota. He goes to Central High School. He is a senior. He's reporting about senioritis. His name is Dante Dilly. Hey guys, so like Jonas said, I'm doing a video on senior edits. I interviewed a couple students, but some of them wish to remain anonymous. I will tell you the results of the anonymous interviews after I show you the interviews of people who didn't want to remain anonymous. Tell me your experience on senioritis. Well, it's usually seen as like a joke, like, um, like teachers as like junior, they'll tell you like, oh, you know, you can't be doing this next year, you're going to get senioritis. But I think it's like an actual, it's an actual thing. You know, um, not wanting to do homework or um, not maybe just not wanting to do homework, but wanting to do something else other than homework, like hanging out with friends that you're not going to see next year because you're all going to college in different places. Okay, so that answer is what you think of senioritis, but what's your experience with it? Oh, um, so I kind of got like early onset senioritis because last year was really hard for me. That was actually more because of depression, but I didn't want to do homework or anything like that. And I'd get home and I would just want to watch YouTube because that's what made me happy. And I was like, you know what, this is a more valuable use of my time. Um, when my brothers were seniors, they never did any homework either, and they told me that, oh, yeah, you don't get any homework in high school, and if you do, you're going to get a lot. You're either going to get a lot or none. So I, my three previous years of high school, I didn't have a lot of homework. So I was like, okay, so then this year I'm not going to get a lot of homework. So, I mean, yeah, so I'm not going to get a lot of homework. And then now I've kind of developed that, oh, I don't really have that much homework. And then when I actually go to look at it, excuse you, so when I actually go to look at it, I have a lot more homework than I thought I did. All right, well, is that, is that good? That's good. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Dante, for asking me. Experience with senioritis. Nothing good. We go from being a high up there, smart, wise senior to being the fact of dumb freshman, basically. It's pretty bad. It right. seems like the maturity level drops. So, what are your opinions on senioritis? Um, there needs to be a way to fix it. Like, I think a lot of what it is just seniors trying to be relaxed again, trying to actually be themselves instead of be what the school system wants them to be. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Ryan. No problem. All right, guys, so I'm back with the anonymous interviews right here. And the first person I interviewed said that I got senioritis at the beginning of second quarter. I gave up, my grades dropped, and I'm struggling to get them back up. 
their that was their experience. They think that many people say senioritis is a joke, but it's completely real and a pain to get rid of. And the second person who wished to become anonymous said he doesn't have senioritis, but all his friends do. It's like they quit trying to complete school and it's not worth it to them anymore. His opinions on senioritis is that it's real, but it's preventable. And he's got a message. He says, don't give up. We're halfway to graduation. And that concludes my report on senioritis. I'm Jonah Hale. And I'm Alex Haugen. And this is Central News Center. We are signing off. See ya, boy. Let's.